it's a bit of a dreary day here in New York today. Um, I had to pull out my like real winter wool coat again because it is quite cold. Um, and I think it's supposed to rain tonight, which does not bode well for not needing boots tomorrow, but I have hope. Um, so we're back at work today. And what does that mean? Basically that means that I have to go back to planning the vlog around uh, actually getting work done, which is crazy. It's actually not been a terrible morning this morning. I um, got a lot of work done. I had some stuff that needed to happen um, that I already knew about, that like I had teed up as soon as I got in the office this morning, but the rest of the day has been sort of like catching up on things like emails and projects that sort of have been in progress for a while. So, you know, it's been productive, it's been good. Um, I've stepped out for a moment um, so that I can grab a bite and run a few really super quick midday errands. Um, I did not make it to work out first thing this morning, you know, that, that pinch of salt that I told you about. Yeah, I didn't actually work out this morning, so that means that I need to go home this afternoon and get that taken care of as soon as I get home. Um, Eric is, uh, won't be home until probably about 5.30, 5.45. Um, so I have about an hour and, what is that? Probably about an hour and a half. Uh, of me working out, getting cleaned up, and prepping dinner. Um, he really wanted me to make sure that I uh, had dinner ready on time today, which seems like a very sexist thing to ask, but since I'm the one who makes the dinner in the house, it's not like he's saying, wife, you make me dinner. You have food on table when I arrive. No, it's not like that. Um, we have our priorities in order, that's what it is, because we need to watch Game of Thrones tonight. Um, I really appreciate the fact that I haven't been spoiled yet today because the internet exists and I have in fact been on it today and I have avoided Game of Thrones spoilers. Uh, I know something happened but I don't know what, which is great. Um, and then we need to watch Raw tonight to find out what happened post pay-per-view. Um, yeah, I, I didn't love yesterday's wrestling. It wasn't very... There were some exciting moments, and oh my god, um, when Enzo snapped his neck against the rope and it looked like he might have died, I pretty much screamed. I thought he had. Um, let's just say it was super intense and leave it at that. Um, so yeah, so we need to at least watch the beginning of wrestling tonight to make sure nothing else super dramatic doesn't happen. Um, but other than that, I don't have much planned. It's a pretty just getting back in the groove kind of day. That's about it. So. Um, I might be a little content light today, uh, but let's run over to the grocery store real quick so that I have stuff to make food tonight. That seems really cool and brand new. It's even just only in beta testing. How does it work? I have no idea. I'm gonna have to investigate that. That seems really awesome. <sighs> so I just worked out. Day two of the Every Day in May challenge is now complete. I did a 30 minute. My face is all red and gross. I am so sweaty and disgusting right now. The apartment was really hot today. I closed all the windows before I left the house and I didn't leave any of the air circulating on. So when I came in, it was like, I don't know, really warm in here because they had the heat on in the building today, um, which made my ride like a sweaty, hot, gross ride, like doing hot yoga or something. So it was definitely harder than it should have been. Um, I think I have to... All right, so I need to go shower. Then I need to start prepping dinner and I need to make sure that Game of Thrones is set and ready to go and then at least the beginning of wrestling to see if there's anything interesting happening. I highly doubt it. Uh, if you guys have ever watched the vlog, then you know that uh, Eric and I both watch Casey Neistat, who's another vlogger, who sort of has been an inspiration to me and the vlog. Um, he's kind of the reason I started this whole thing. Not that I'm a filmmaker and he likes to label himself a filmmaker. Hi, Dexter. Dexter wanted to be in the vlog today. 
Um, back to Casey. So today he put out two videos. Um, both were about his company that he has. It's called Beam. It's an app for sharing video moments. Now, um, he would do a much better job explaining it. Let's just say I've downloaded this app. Um, we actually downloaded it last year sometime when it first came out and started playing around with it, but it didn't really click for me um, because I felt like, so the, the way that it works is um, it takes video, shares it socially, but you can't, see what you're videoing when you video it and you can't edit it before it posts. So it's supposed to be very like authentic and like in the moment and kind of like vlogging but without all the editing bits in the middle, which if I had thought about that when I started this, I might have done that as my thing instead of this because this takes a lot of time every night editing. Um, I mean, I've gotten faster, but I like the concept, the authenticness of it, because there is something about being authentic in a video. So authenticity is something that's really important to me. Um, if you've watched any of my vlogs, you know that I show up in them without any makeup on, you know, with my hair all gross, when I've just woken up in the morning. I don't mind being gross on camera because that's who I am as a person. I mean, I'm not a gross person, but I'm not someone who's necessarily concerned about outward appearance. Um, so there's something kind of revolutionary about being authentic, especially in today's oversaturated, over like photoshopped, make makeupified um, society today that there would be someone who'd be willing to go out there and say, I want to create a product that allows you to capture a moment without all of the filters and all of the, the glamorization behind it. And I think that's really great. Um, I am gonna try to use Beam more. I'm not sure if I can get the video out of it though, so I'm not sure how it's gonna play into the vlog itself, but if you would like to, you can definitely download Beam, B-E-M-E. -E. Uh, it's in the App Store and in Google Play if you have an Android device. Um, and you can follow me, uh, Condition Nerd. Yeah, you know, the name. Um, but yeah, I think the point that I was really trying to make is that there's something about being authentic and not trying to dress it up or over um, overproduce it. So I think that's what kind of made me happy today that you know he re-released the app today and and that it has a whole new there's n new shiny. Um, yeah, I really gotta go take a shower, guys. Do you see this little dog over here? Look at this, look at this situation. He's so cute. I think that's it. I don't think I've vlogged much today, guys, but we have Game of Thrones tonight. I'm, and, and I really appreciate that no one has spoiled anything for me. And thank you for all the birthday wishes. It's so nice, it's so wonderful, and you guys rock. And keep the comments coming, keep the views coming, share with your friends if you like what I do. Um, and let's just keep this party going. The other thing I wanted to say is that I have been freezing all day. My office has been like negative degrees, it feels like. 